Hey guys, I'm just continuing on from the last video. So our second example for more complex moments is represented in this diagram here. We have um, our point X and we're asked to find the moment at this point. We have three forces. We have five newtons acting at this distance, three meters. We have 10 newtons acting at this distance, which is two meters. And we have five newtons acting at this distance, which is 1.5 meters. Again we've been, um, we've been asked to find the moment at x and we're given that the positive direction should be taken as anti-clockwise. So we'll start off by looking at the first force which is 5 newtons. Now you can see that it's pushing this uh, beam here or this column in um, from left to right and since x is below it it's clear that this is going to cause a clockwise rotation of the column. So therefore, this force will take as negative. So this will be negative 5 newtons times 3 meters. Now we move on to the next force, which is 10 newtons, and it acts at this distance, which is 2 meters from x. Now we can see that this pushes right to left, and since x is below this point, it will cause a rotation in the anti-clockwise direction. So therefore, we can take this 10 as being positive. So plus 10 newtons times its lever arm, which is 2 meters. And finally, this bottom force is 5 newtons, and it pushes from left to right. But since x is above it this time, this will cause a rotation in the anti-clockwise direction.